Will you smile? If I admit I was wrong. About what? Miracles. Events with astronomical odds of occurring, like oxygen turning into gold. I've longed to witness such an event, and yet I neglect that in human coupling. You are the world to me, John. You are my whole life. Do you remember how many times you said you loved me? Jenny, I wasn't told. I prefer the stillness here. I am tired of Earth. These people. I'm tired of being caught in the tangle of their lives. Hey guys, welcome to the Burma Campbell 12 YouTube channel. Playing our comic book and anime reviews. Here is my review for Doomsday Clock, issue number 12. It has been a long time coming, you guys. Because I've been wanting to kind of talk about Doomsday Clock for a while. And obviously these reviews are late. Um, I've been on hiatus for a while. I've been busy. The holiday kind of came. They kind of kicked my butt. I haven't uploaded a whole lot of videos in a while. I am kind of working on a music video right now. I just want to give an update to you guys. I am working on certain projects right now. But I hope we get done pretty soon. Uh, but we'll see where those projects go. But for right now, let's get back to more comic reviews. Um, so, Doomsday Clock issue number 12 right here. Uh, looking great. We got like a cover. We have Dr. Manhattan on it and Superman um, on the side right here. It looks, it just looks great. So it looks like a great, awesome cover for Doomsday Clock. So let's get to the issue because obviously Doomsday Clock is going to have a lot of stuff going on in it because it's Doomsday Clock and it's a Watchmen sequel. And this also came out right off the heels of the Watchmen show, which I was just finished up. And that was really cool. So it's kind of cool that we got two Watchmen sequels this year. Um, that's just that's just awesome to me. Like it just is. That's awesome. So um, yeah, um, this is an issue where really see Doctor Manhattan and Superman kind of face off here. It's called Discouraged of Man, and it is kind of what you kind of expect it to be. It's kind of this. Debate between Superman and Dr. Manhattan on the, well, I hope the whole series is going to be about, which is hope, the idea of hope and what Superman means for the rest of the DC Universe and why he is so important to it. We also have um, our former Rorschach in this issue, and, you know, he's been dealing with the fact that, like, um, he's a very, he's, he's, you know, his father was Walter Kovac. He's still dealing with that. He's trying to figure out what, what that means for him. We get some great scenes in this issue. Um, like, that, that, that really do come back to the original watch. We get to see the squid attack again in this issue. That's really cool. Um, we see Dr. Manhattan through time. He's thinking about things. And, you know, he, we get to see Dr. Manhattan through time. And he as he as, and he's looking at things with Superman before he returns to his time with Superman. And he's thinking that this is going to be the moment when Superman kills me. Because he tells Superman that, hey, I am the one who did this to you. I am the one who changed your life. Uh, and I'm sure you're going to hate me. So I know you're going to punch me right. You're going to come and fight me right now. And you're going to probably end my life here. Or I'm going to end your life. So I mean, whatever happens is what happens. And instead of that happening... Superman's punch goes through Dr. Manhattan and he ends up, we see that he's fighting Pozaro from the last issue. And he's telling Dr. Manhattan, like, what are you doing just standing there? 
Um, there's people out here who are who need help, and another man kind of is looking at everything. He's like, "This is what's supposed to happen." Like, no, like I thought that either you were going to kill me, or I was going to kill you. Like, like, like this was not how it was going to happen. And when Doctor Man looks at Superman in one moment, um, seeing him, he kind of is in many ways inspired by Superman and we see that he he puts his hands up and he ends up kind of rewriting things and every we get to see that scene of darkness that happens and we get these like nine petal grid of just blackness which is really cool and even this page right here is just nothing but darkness until we get that one little spark and that's what we get to see Another man kind of rebuilding the universe, saying things back to how they should be, um, resetting the entire DC universe in many ways. So Superman's parents don't end up dying, which is really cool. Uh, Superman ends up stopping his parents from getting killed in a car accident. Um, we get to see, you know, um, Johnny Thunder comes back, and just society because of that. They're still going to be around, and the Legion of Superheroes are going to still be around. It's, it's very, very Jeff Johns. Because uh, of course, being around, but it's a very much a love letter to the DC universe in many ways. And this is definitely, this is very more of a DC Comics event than a Watchmen event in many ways, because we just see all these moments with um, these characters, these heroes, um, throughout. So, and what each of them mean, why there is an importance to Superman in this story. And it's it's cool to see all these things that are just kind of happening. And we see Rorsch, of, of our new Rorschach uh, talking to Ozzy Mandy and him saying that, yes, my father was Walter Cordes. Yes, yes, he did. Yes, um, first of all, I kind of inspired by was Walter Cordes, but I don't have to be like Walter Cordes. I don't have to be like the man who drove my father insane. I can be my own character and take this Rorschach man and use it as a symbol for hope. And that's kind of weird what uh, he ends up doing. And it's really, really cool to see all these aspects that ends up happening. And, you know, because that in my head was inspired by Superman to do all these great things to rebuild his own universe, he ends up, you know, having a kid. And printing himself in onto this kid and calling him Clark. And that's just a really nice ending to this story. And one that I can really get behind. So yeah, this was it was a great ending for Doomsday Clock. Um again, it is more of a DC comic story than a Watchmen story. But a Watchmen is a, it's a it's a DC story that I really like. And I like where it ended up. I like everything that happened with Dr. Manhattan at the very end of this. I like the fact that he was inspired by Superman um, to kind of be better than what he was. And I just I like that ending. I think it's a really, really strong ending and one that I can really, really get behind. So that's Doomsday Clock like issue number 12, you guys. Let me know about Doomsday Clock and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.